Hidden in the hills of Gumla district in Jharkhand, around 70 kilometers from Ranchi, are the remains of an ancient kingdom. Built of brick and stone, glistening in the sun, this is the ruined Navratangar Palace of the Nagvanshi kings who ruled the Chota Nagpur region from the 1st century CE. Navratangar is also referred to as Doisagar, as it was located in Doisa, the second capital of the Nagvanshi kings. Tribal kings usually lived in simple mud or stone huts like common folk. So how did the Nagvanshis end up in Doisagar and build such a grand palace here? The palace was constructed in the late 1630s by Durjan Sal, the 45th descendant of the Nagvanshis, a ruler with a fascinating history. He was imprisoned by the Mughals for 12 years for refusing to pay taxes to them and was finally released by Emperor Jahangir when he helped him identify a real diamond from a fake one. With his kingdom being restored to him, Durjan Sal decided to build a legacy, quite literally. He shifted his capital from Kokra to Doisa and named his palace Navratangar. This was the first time a palace had been built for a Nagvanshi king. Today the interiors are in shambles and it is difficult to say how many rooms were once here in this marvellous five-storied structure. There is a ruined building with a small hall flanked by two rooms adjacent to the palace. Near this is a two-storied watchtower, very little of which now remains. Another structure in the vicinity is a large tank with a staircase leading to it. On the other side of the tank is a ruined temple and a dilapidated mansion, which seems to have originally been three storeys tall. With your back to the temple and palace, if you walk a few steps north, you reach a brick structure with a pinnacle, which was clearly once a temple. Near the brick temple are the ruins of two other stone temples. Doisa remained the capital of the Nagvanshi kings until King Yadunath Shah decided to shift it to Palkot in 1724. The town, which was once the capital of the Nagvanshi kingdom, fell into ruin. The Navratangar Palace is now the only link between the 21st century and the legacy of the Nagvanshis.